chair will entertain requests for one minute speeches. The gentleman from Ohio. Oh. Mr. Speaker, I request permission to address the House to revise and extend. Without objection. At a time when millions of Americans are losing jobs, homes, pensions, our government is prepared to give another trillion to the banks, ready to compound the moral hazard by nationalizing banks, which are allegedly profit-making entities. This is anti-democratic. Instead of nationalizing banks, we should nationalize the money system by placing the Federal Reserve under the U.S. Treasury and the fractional reserve and stop banks from lending credit into circulation. Then instead of borrowing money from the banks and creating debt, government can spend the money into circulation to rebuild and restore America with money for jobs, housing, health care, and education. I'll soon be introducing legislation to accomplish this. Banking is not a proper function of the government, but oversight is. The Treasury Department should not be outsourcing to the Fed its oversight responsibilities. The Fed, which failed miserably to oversee banks, should be put under Treasury instead. It's time for our government to operate in the public interest, not in the interest of private banks. It's time for us to stop bailing out banks and begin building up America. Time the gentleman has expired. Gentleman from South Carolina.